G'day guys, no Duff here again and today I want to spend a bit of time speaking about the process of joining the military. This will be the first video of a few videos detailing a couple of things you need to think about along the journey of joining the military. Now before we begin I'd just like to quickly point out that my initial background is as a rifleman in the Royal Australian Infantry Corps in the Australian Regular Army. So most of my points will be specific to the Australian Army, however the principles will still be applicable across the board for anything that comes under the term military, whether that be different services like RAF or Navy or different branches or even other nations. So as the first video in this series, we're going to start at the very beginning where you haven't really made any steps for enlisting. However, you have thought about it or you're seriously considering it. Now, I'll assume that most of you don't know much about the military. So if you do, I apologize in advance, but I'd still recommend watching this video, you know, see if you pick up anything you might have missed. When you're thinking about joining up, no one really considers the negatives. So I want you to really educate yourself entirely around the job that you're looking at going into and not be blinded by the positives. So find out all you can, that way you can make the correct decision. So the first big question I really want you to ask yourself when you're thinking about joining is, uh, do you really know what you're getting into? Now, I know it's pretty much impossible to know everything about it, but have you Googled the job that you're looking at going into? Do you know any other roles in the Army, Navy or Air Force? Do you know what combat looks like? Are you aware of the hardships that you are most likely f going to be facing? Most definitely isn't what you see on TV or in the movies. Maybe about 10% of that is true, but most of the time you're going to be thinking it sucks and that it's shit. But you know, does that 10% of awesomeness outweigh the 90% of bullshit to you? And that's something that you'll have to weigh up. Try and find someone in the job or in the service you're looking at going into and you know, ask them about their experiences. Although I guarantee you that 80% of people with experience will tell you it's shit and not to join. But that's usually because they didn't do their own research like what you're doing now when they were going through their process. And so when they got to the recruitment office, they just believed every word that the recruiter said. So now when they get in and find out about all the stupid shit for the first time, they feel like they've been lied to and tricked into joining. All that negativity blinds their perception of the numerous positives of military service. So learn your facts now, both pros and cons so you don't become a pissed off, jaded, negative person down the track and just waste everyone's time. The next big thing you need to think about is, are you fit enough? Now, I know different services and job roles have different requirements and levels of fitness. So for this, I'll be talking about a moderate level of fitness. And I'll leave a link here and down below to my fitness programs to get yourself ready, but listen to what I have to say first. Ask yourself, have you really ever conducted physical activity before? Have you been sitting on your ass most of your life just playing video games, not playing sports or going to the gym because you're too busy improving your kill death ratio? If that's the case, you need to get out and do some physical activity because I guarantee you the army might look appealing to you in video games doing those urban clearances with your squad, but when you do that shit in real life, it's no easy task to run from building to building with all your weapons, ammo, armor, water, and comms strapped to you in 50 degree heat. And then your mate gets hit with a bit of frag and now you've got to drag him or pick him up with all his kit on top of yours. You know, that's stuff you don't think about. So you really need to think about fitness now. It's one of the most important things in the military, regardless of your job role. There's a link here and down below as well for the importance of combat fitness in the military. Now, if you are someone that has been involved in some kind of physical activity, whether that be sports on the weekends or going to the gym at night, you're probably in relatively good form. But fitness in the military is entirely different to being able to bench that 150 kilos or you know run that 5Ks in under 20 minutes. Now, I'm talking more about army here, but it's about being able to carry heavy loads on your back for long distances on minimal food and sleep in the same clothes you've been wearing for weeks. And then when you think you're finished, you just pick up and move again and again and again. It's more of a mental fitness than anything, but you know, you need to be physically prepared to lot in that load in your head. Now, I know it's hard to prepare yourself for military fitness outside of the military, so I've written a fitness program that you can follow. You can find them here and in the links below. I do charge a small amount for some of my programs, but that money goes to helping veterans and their families. So consider your purchase a donation to charity. Now, this leads me on to my last point, and that is, are you the right kind of person? Now, by that, I kind of backtrack a little bit, but I want you to think about why you really want to join. Do you really want to serve your country? Do you really want to make a difference in the world? Are you willing to lay down your life for someone else you don't even know? Or are you joining just so you can brag about how you're in the Army, Air Force, the Navy, and pick up heaps of chicks and take heaps of cool selfies and you know wear your uniform to the local shops. Is that what you're really joining up for? Because the military doesn't want people like that. We want humble, loyal, and honest people who don't abuse the privilege of serving their nation. 
So have a long think about it and whether or not it conflicts with your own reasons for wanting to join. Because if you're the wrong kind of person, you're going to get found out and that won't be a pleasant experience. Now, after all that, now that you know some of the negatives about your chosen role, do you still want to sign up? Why? Ask yourself, why do you want to do it even though you found out all this stupid shit you didn't know about? If that why still convinces you to sign up, you need to remember that because I guarantee you in the future, there will be times when you want to quit and give up, but you need to remind yourself of your why. I heard a saying a long time ago, find out the why and the how becomes easy. So if you're still keen as a bean after you've educated yourself more thoroughly, the next step in the process is to contact your local recruiter. Now in Australia, this is called a U session and that's what we're going to cover off in the next episode. So stay tuned guys. Cheers.